to another episode of Beer, Wine, and Spirits. Tonight we have a fabulous show. We're going to be at the Ohio Craft Beer Conference, and we have a fabulous guest. David, who's going to be our big guest tonight? Jim Cook. Jim Cook is the keynote speaker for the second annual Ohio Craft Brewers Conference at the Dayton Convention Center. And who is this Jim? Well, Jim Cook is responsible for making craft beer as huge as it is in the United States. He is the founder of Boston Beer Company, um, DBA as Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams oh, really? is the number one craft brewing uh, facility and brand in the United States. I mean, they had another name like that. Well, it's originally under the Boston Beer Company, but yeah. Samuel Adams is, is the, the big name. name. Right. All right. So as you can see, it's going to be a huge show on beer, wine, and spirits. So stay tuned for more after this. contact with the beer people. What's going on? Uh, we, I represent the Ohio Craft Brewers Association and this right. is our second annual conference here in Dayton, Ohio. When we had our first one last year in Worcester, the Dayton Convention Visitors Bureau was like, no, you have to come to Dayton, you have to come to Dayton. And then so when I brought it up to the Dayton breweries, they were all like, yes, we have to come to Dayton. Yeah, we it's huge. We have over 300 people here. So it's, it's exciting and terrifying at the same time. Man, yes. <laughs> what I'm happy about is you're helping us get together. Yeah. Well, this is what we do. Craft beer is a very collaborative industry, um, and bringing it to Dayton, again, you know, we had less than five breweries, you know, five years ago, and now we've got 14 here in Dayton. Right. It's fabulous, and it's a testament to the growth of the craft brewing scene, and it's a testament to how awesome Dayton is, so here we are. And it's a unifying force. Craft beer? Yeah. Okay. Yes, absolutely. You know, when you bring us together, because as he was saying, when we're all separate, well, it's a community. we're weak, yeah, we're but together, we're strong. We can accomplish more. All right, now you got a website where I can go check out Ohio, future events? OhioCraftBeer.org, but wait a week because it's going to be a much better website than really? it is right now. <laughs> okay, now you know I'm going to send you lots of video and lots of stuff. Uh huh. So, You're going to give me content? Awesome. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thanks for having us here in Dayton. All right, we'll be, where are you going to be next year? Do you know yet? I haven't decided yet. So send me days. info. Okay. We can ride. We'll do. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Ray. for coming today, man. Beer, Wine, and Spirits is so proud to have you on the show. Man, you started it all. It started with you guys. I just wanted to have beer that I like to drink, and I'm really happy that I wasn't the only one who wanted good beer in this Well, country. what was great about it, man, is you were willing to kind of go out there and fight the tide of Budweiser. Well, it was a lot of them back then. There was like Stroh and Pabst and Heilman and Miller and Coors, and I didn't really fight their tide because for what they do, they do it extremely well. They do. They can mass produce, mass market, enormous quantities of beer, and get it to consumers fresh and tasting the way it's supposed to taste. Yeah. I just wanted to give them an alternative. You know, that would, it's kind of like if there was nothing but yeah. Taco Bell and McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King. They're great for what they do. I just wanted to deliver filet mignon. My friend, you saved us from boring beer. 
That's what I want you to know. Okay. Me. I drank a lot of Budweiser in my day, a lot of Hugh Hold and Robin Hood and all that stuff. And it was just beer. It was just processed water. Well, you know, I, Sam Adams, my family yeah. is brewmasters. And my dad used to say, Jim, all beer is good. Some beer is better, yeah. but all beer is good. So I, you know, I, I don't want to, I mean, I want to recognize the accomplishments yeah. of the big brewers. Right. And you've kept it going. What's new? What's coming up? What, what should we be looking for in the future? Nitro. Nitro. We have three new beers out, the Sam Adams Nitro Project. Right. Um, we are uh, opening up some white space in craft brewing because people haven't really played with the last ingredient. The sort of the, the hidden ingredient in beer is carbonation. We don't really think about it. We think as brewers, we think about water and yeast and malt and hops. Right. But um, if you replace the carbonation with nitrogen, you get a smoother, creamier, softer, silkier set of flavors. So it, it completely transforms various styles of beer into something really different and in some cases much more pleasant, much smoother and more enjoyable. Now when am I going to get a chance to taste this? Uh, it should be in Kroger's it's at the beginning of March. Oh, in the beginning of March. March 1st, launching right. in Kroger's, right. and in Myers, Giant Eagle, so, and lots You're, of other stores. Man, I'm going to run out and try that as soon as possible. You, you got a website? SamAdams.com. Oh my God, there you go. My friend, thank you so much for coming to Dayton. My pleasure. All right. Cheers. Cheers. And keep drinking Sam Adams. <laughs>
Right. And then we went on to make yeast for pro-breweries. And really? that's what brings me here today. And we started the pure pitch uh, process and flex cell process. So what we do now is we actually propagate and package the yeast in the same vessel. So the now yeast, that sounds complicated. The yeast is grown in this vessel and then it comes to you. Really? Yeah. Almost still alive. Yep. Oh, most certainly. Most yeah. certainly. Well, that is so 95 crazy. plus percent. Yeah. Is it so a difficult process to keep, high. to keep it all in one bag like that? It's a proprietary process. Yeah, that yeah. sounds hard. Yeah. So, so where are you guys located at? Um, we're based in San Diego. That's where we started. We actually have locations, though, in Boulder, Colorado, okay. which now actually has a tasting room that's open. Oh. Um, we're actually opening a production facility in Asheville, North Carolina oh. later this year. I coming. like Asheville. Yes, and we're also in Copenhagen and Hong Kong as well. Really? Yeah. You're in Copenhagen and Hong Kong? Yeah. So you're international. We are international, yeah. Oh, wow. So I'm even happier. So. Where's the company going? I mean, have you guys got anything planned in the future that's oh, really cool? Oh, I'm sure there's some plans inside Chris Okay, White's but there's spring. nothing yeah. you're going to let us uh, us air here. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for this year to get excited about is Asheville, North Carolina. That facility oh, that's, is that's going to be That's exciting right there all yeah. by itself. That's a great... You should get that one. That's a good place. Yeah, I, Asheville is beautiful. It is. Yeah. Now, do you have a website that, that yes. is, is for potential people? Hit yes. us. Um, well, you can simply go to www.whitelabs.com and under employment you'll find all the information. It's all there. Okay, now if I went there, if I was a brewer and I wanted to, to buy, was it, would it be the same website? Yes. Uh, well, no, excuse me. For the same, for purchasing yeast? Yeah. That's what you're referring to? So yeah. to purchase yeast, you actually go to www.yeastman.com. This guy right here. <laughs> That's no, Yeastman. you have a you have a cartoon character yeah. now, Yeast Man. He's, he's He's yeast. where you buy the yeast. Now, why does Yeast Man have a little arm? Oh, that's his bud, because yeast sells bud. Uh, Get it? Uh -huh, Get it? Uh -huh, but, um, uh -huh. Right there. www.yeastman.com. Uh, and you guys own that one, too, don't you? Yes. Well, that's our that's our site where you that's can your, purchase our yeah. yeast. Yes. Well, now, was that hard? No, it was easy. See, beer wine painless. spirits is painless. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. No problem. It's a pleasure. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye. Patrick, tell us about your business, man. Uh, we are Belter Beverage. We are uh, basically partners in craft with all the craft breweries across the country. Right. We fulfill uh, all the glassware vessel options out there, whether it be a growler, a pint, um, Belgians, anything that a brewery may be looking for, whether it be a really? coaster. Um, now, you guys make it yourselves, or do you outsource no, it, or how does it work? We use vendors all across the country. Okay. Yes. All right. So, am I able to design something custom or of something? Of course. Yes. Everything we build is custom built into the customer's specifications. Really? So, where are you guys located at? We are out of Waukesha, Wisconsin. Okay. So, not terribly far. No. No. We actually own a uh, glass decoration facility in Toledo, so we do much of our business out uh, of Toledo, okay. Ohio. So, how do you decorate these bottles? Is it like a screen printing exactly, system yeah, or something? It's a screen printing system, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Because I know this stuff don't come off. You, you can't hardly really scrape it off. No, well, if you, if you try hard enough. But yeah, but it's, a, it's hard. It's, a hard it's amazing process. how much it yes. bonds to the glass. Yes. Well, man, give me the website and the contact okay, information. We are Belter Beverage. Our website is www.beercup.com. All right. All right. Well, man, thanks for Thank being you. on the show. Remember, Appreciate beer, it. wine, and spirits anytime you're in town. And thanks for being with us. All right, thank you. All right, we're down here at the Craft Brewers Convention. Uh, what have we got, man? Tell me about your business. <laughs> hey, so I'm with uh, NDL Keg. My name is Nick. Right. Uh, we're a stainless steel keg manufacturing company out of Detroit. Now, you guys make kegs? So we uh, wholesale. We buy, work with a manufacturer, Peng Lai Jin Fu. They're the fourth largest in the world. Right. And we import these kegs and house them in a warehouse. Uh, they're, you know, beautiful 304 stainless micromatic spears. We also do a variety of stainless steel products like, like this growler. Like this cask. The growler's cool, man. Yeah, they, I like cool those. Growler, yeah. That is real. Now, is this something that, that like people could buy? Oh yeah, we don't have any kind of minimum. It's really competitively pricing. Right. Um, and yeah, we don't have. We can quick ship things uh, all around. So the you US. mean I could actually get me one and have on my buddy's pinstripe and it'd be all mine? No doubt. Yeah, of course. Now, how much something like that cost? And we uh, we sell these to customers for fifteen dollars. Oh, that's oh man. No. God. It's in the bag. That's in the bag. You Standard. should. There should be millions of these sold, dude. Growler cap. 
Right. Beautiful. All 304 stainless. Ready to be decorated any way you want to. Ready to go. Yeah. All right. So check us out. So how have you guys been doing this? Uh, we've been around. Um, you know, our manufacturer's been around for 20 years. Right. Um, but we just took our first shipment of kegs in March. Okay, because I, I ain't, I ain't seen young. your stuff around. I'm around, man. Yeah, we're still young. You know, we're uh, less Good. than a year old. But young, we're... strong, hungry, all that yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. That's why we're here, you know. Get some what, business. What's your website, brother? NDLKeg.com. All right. You on Facebook? Do all Facebook, that stuff? Instagram, Twitter. All right. All, all right. Stuff. Man, thank you for being on Beer, Wine, Spirits. Check us out. Thanks a lot. And it is NDL. And my name's Nick. Thanks, Nick. Cheers. Since Mike, what are you doing down here? Well, we're uh, hanging out with the great uh, craft brewers here in Ohio. Uh, we're with Grandstand uh, Sportswear and Apparel and Glassware in Lawrence, Kansas. So, okay, so, so you guys make t-shirts and glasses and all that crazy stuff? We are. We decorate uh, all of the above, and uh, we're the, uh, one of the largest suppliers of uh, growlers. Are you? For, uh, oh, I love the growlers, man. So that's uh, what we do, but as you can see, we do. Uh, now, do you guys do all your own custom art? That was beautiful. Uh, we do. We do. Uh, well, we take art files, obviously, from our customers, right. and then uh, we also do creative work like the support uh, local beer, Ohio uh, man. Did you see there? So I love that shirt. Yeah, that's a nice shirt, and uh, it's had a lot of good play, obviously, in uh, in Ohio and with the, oh, yeah. and the the hop and uh, good work by our creative folks. So, uh, oh, and the hop is it, man. Yeah, that's it, right? That's yeah. I mean, that's why we're really all here. So. so <laughs> Where are you guys located at? Uh, we're in Lawrence, Kansas. Oh, oh man. Now, did you guys miss the snow or did the snow get you? Uh, we missed the snow this time. In fact, they, uh, it was kind of funny. We uh, were traveling and they were gearing up for the big blizzard. And yeah. 51 degrees at home. So it was. Uh, uh, you lucked out. You came from decent weather to decent weather. I, I know. It was weird. We uh, we went to uh, the Carillon Brewing Company last night right. for the reception and it was very odd in February to stand outside with a Wasn't it? spring thunderstorm. We're not going to complain though. <laughs> no, we'll take it. Now, do you guys have a website? Uh, we do. It's uh, e egrandstand.com. And uh, ask now, 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 now do I have to order a million t-shirts? No, we don't. You don't. We have very low minimums. And, okay. Uh, and uh, now, now you know my new TV show, Beer, Wine, Spirits. We need some T-shirts. Well, we, you know what? You, you're talking to the guys who can probably get them for you. All right. So well, I will definitely be calling you then. Good. We'd love to help you out. Thanks, man. All right. Keep watching Beer, Wine, Spirits.
Michael, what are you doing down here today? We're a vendor, so we're uh, we're we have some of our supplies here today. We have uh, we're focusing on a couple European suppliers, Swan and Avangard. Right. So we're a distributor in Northeast Ohio. Uh, so obviously the Ohio Craft Brewers Conference. Oh my God! Yeah. We want to be here and be a part of that. So that's it's the such a growing today. business, man. It is, man. It's it's, it's expanding every day. It's getting bigger and bigger. It has, and it has definitely shown on our end, and uh, we're proud to be a part of it. So, so now, do you bring this stuff in? I mean, do you guys produce it all, or are you no, just so a redistributor? Actually, so we're, we distribute. So we actually pull it in from around the world. Uh, these two happen to be European. So right. uh, Avangard, which is uh, our German maltster, and then the Swan, which is our it's actually from the Netherlands. Uh, okay. It's kind of a Belgian style maltster. Oh, okay. Um, so we're we're importing. Uh, uh, pretty much monthly, right. not weekly. Uh, now, how do you, now, now, how do you redistribute it? Do, do, do the potential customer contact you and you send them uh, bags, boxes? Correct. So everything comes bagged in uh, 25 kg bags, which right. is uh, 55 pounds. So everything comes ready to go. All we do is we bring it in, it's ready to go, and we start. We put oh, it on our so website. So it's convenient for sale. too. Correct. Correct. Oh, okay. Well, that's good then, because you know the loose stuff is hard to work with. It is, it is. It's, I mean, it's, it's nice hard. It's all bagged and ready to go. Yeah. And it's simply pre measured, yeah, yep, man. Yep, yep, it's yep. time. Yep. So, so, where are you from? Where are you? I'm personally from uh, Ken, Ohio. Our company's from Ken, Ohio as well. So. Okay, and you got a website and stuff? We do, ldcarlson.com. So, you guys can check us out on our website. Any uh, new breweries opening up or breweries already going, and we'd love to help you out. That's what we're here for. So. All right, man. Well, thank you for being on Beer Wine Spirits. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Anytime, Take brother. Care, right? Jen, what are you doing down here? I have this wine girl stuff. What's this all about? So we sell promotional products, anything with your logo on it, to the wine industry and to the beer industry. Um, we do a lot of really cool things with augmented reality. So you can put apps in coasters. You can put them in growler oh. koozies. So you get your free app on your phone and you scan the product. Really? It takes you out, takes your client out to wherever you want them to go. Oh, to that's your convenient. Website, to your brewery, to your winery. And they can hear all about the events and cool stuff that's going on. At well, your what, place. Got, what got you guys into this? I mean, how long have you been into this stuff? 28 years of promotional products. Oh, okay. And now that the beer industry is booming, booming. the wine industry is booming, booming. Yes. we decided to find our niche. A new niche. niche. Sure. All right. So, what's the coolest thing you guys have? What's your weirdest product? Okay, so our weirdest product has to be right now is the bottle opener sunglasses. Okay? So, so sunscreen by day. Right. All right. Bottle opener by night. Oh, uh, super sweet. And are they logoed on the sign? They're logo. Both temples can be logoed. I like you. Yeah. Very good. You see, I, there's always something cool with you guys. That's right. All right, so where are you located? We're out of Westerville, Ohio. All right, so close. Close. What's your uh, website and uh, contact information? So our website is www.thewinegirl, with a Y, right. W-Y-N-E, girl.com. Okay. Well, man, thank you so much for being on Beer, Wine, Spirits, and uh, we'll look for you at the other shows. Absolutely. I appreciate it.